Good morning. I'm on my way to work. I'm so tired. It's Monday. I wanted to leave like my house 45 minutes ago at 6.45, but I'm just so out of um, like a routine since I've worked from home pretty much for the past month. So I've been waking up a lot later during that month and um, I had planned to work out in the morning today, but that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> so I, I just need to get to bed earlier. Like I went, I got to bed, uh, I went to bed at like 11 last night or later, like 11.30. There's no way I'm gonna wake up at 5.30 to work out and do everything, but whatever. I have a really busy week this week because my cousin's getting married on Friday. I'm gonna cry just talking about it. I just got my nails done yesterday so I didn't have to do that today. Um, I did I did gel X for the first time and I think I hate it. I think I hate it. I, she painted them so well, so well, but I don't like the shape of them. Like, and I feel like they're just blocks on my fingers. I don't know. I was filing them down yesterday. Like I filed them down a lot and they still like barely moved. So they're, they, I, they feel like bulletproof. So let's see, whatever, but it's a winter wedding and I have to, I'm supposed to pick up my dress today after work um, and then I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done and then so that's today and I still need to work out today so I'm gonna do pick up dress go get eyebrows done and um, work out and then tomorrow I have my first day of my last semester um, class six to nine so I have I'm gonna need to wake up early tomorrow and work out will that happen i don't know um but we'll see and then wednesday i have to work out and self tan because my flight is thursday morning i land in atlanta at like eight something in the morning like the flight's so early and then there because there's a rehearsal um thing at three o'clock but yeah that's the plan for this week Okay, the work day is over. It's 4.30, well I left at 4.30 right now. It's 4.42. So I'm on my way to pick up my dress from oh, my the place I, from getting altered. Um, and then I'm gonna go do my eyebrows because I literally have a unibrow right now. Like it's not, I had to pluck some hairs this morning because of how bad it was. But I wanted to let them grow out as much as possible. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna get massive traffic after picking up this dress because it's not anywhere near where I live. And I'm about to hit rush hour traffic. So that's lovely. All right, got to my dress. It better, better be the correct length. <laughs> and now, it's 5.30, I left an hour ago. It took me an hour to get here, and now I probably have another hour drive home to my house. And I looked up my, I forgot that my eyebrow lady in this area doesn't, her office is closed, or her whatever is closed on Mondays. There's a place near me, but they close at seven and it's already 5.30. So if it takes me an hour to get home, I hate going into the office. It's so dumb. Oh, okay. With 37 minutes, but I doubt it. I doubt I will get there at 6.10. Let's see. I spent so much money on tolls, it's not even funny. So stupid. Okay, let's try to get this done. I just got my eyebrows done. They, this is my first time going to this place. She did so good. Oh my God. I love how they came out. It's like the best 
I've ever got my eyebrows done. Like they look so good. Um, I'm glad, glad I went here. I parked in a Taco Bell parking lot and I just want a quesadilla and some potato tacos. But I'm not gonna do it. it it's 628 and I'm just gonna, I'm like not even, I'm like three minutes away from my house. So, um, what is it called? I'm gonna get ready and just go straight to the gym. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I've been driving for the past two hours, and I don't wanna go, but I'm gonna go. Mm. All right, I just got home, and I, I need to charge my phone before going to the gym on 7%, so I'm gonna do that first, and I have to walk Lily. I'm so hungry, I want a snack, but I don't have literally anything. I'm just gonna eat a couple slices of turkey as a snack. I have no more cheese, but whatever. I got a bunch of Amazon purchases, I mean packages, can't think. Uh, so I got some stuff for the weekend. For one, I got tights, so I was gonna wear them to the reception. Um, I mean to the rehearsal, I was gonna wear like a sweater dress with tights and Doc Martens. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get the Doc Martens, so. And then I have, what is in here? I think this is the sweater dress. Blo oh, this is the puffer vest! I'm so excited for this. I got a puffer vest. I've been wanting one for so long, but like I live in such hot weather that there was no point. I hope this is cute. I love it. Yay. I'm gonna wear it with like dad jeans. I want, I still could wear this with like Doc Martens, like dad jeans rolled cuffed with Doc Martens and then the tight long, um, long sleeve with it. Oh my God, I love this. They have a, they had a cropped one too that I wanted, but I preferred the longer one. I wanted it even like more oversized than this, but I couldn't really find on Amazon one that would come fast enough for the, for the trip. Okay, so these are all the sweaters and sweater dresses. And then I have another package, which I'm sure is where the long sleeve is. I got the Abercrombie long sleeve bodysuit and I was very disappointed. It started to like, the first time I washed it, it completely like balled up, balled up and um, yeah. And like, I know I could buy that thing that like thing to take them off, but I feel like you're just, ripping away fabric and it's just gonna get destroyed eventually either way so i need to look for a better quality long sleeve shirt in the meantime i got one from amazon oh my god let's try this on i love this with like lighter wash jeans are you kidding because like the day after the wedding we're doing like a brunch at I think it's not like a brewery, but it's like this outdoor place with like games and everything. So it's like more chill. This with, oh my God. So cute. I freaking love this. I want to be in the cold just so I can wear this. Love it. Obsessed. Okay. Okay, David's actually walking Lily. I was getting ready for the gym. But I'll try on the sweater dresses now. Some of them are like regular sweaters, but I got them in extra larges so they could be long i have belts that are supposed to be coming but i don't think they are they're not here in the packages this is very soft not scratchy at all very cute i love it okay maybe okay so this is the sweater dress i kind of like the other one as a sweater dress more but this is thinner uh the other one is also a little bit softer this is still super soft like no not not scratchy at all just not as like buttery soft I guess I don't like this though because of the pockets they make the shape look really bad I'm gonna definitely return this one it looked really cute on the girls in the review but I'm not loving it okay and then I honestly don't even remember everything I got what is this weird this is the same dress with the pockets as the black one but it came in complete different packaging so I love like the turtleneck on this, like the looseness. Um, but yeah, I just don't like these pockets. Like they just, I literally look like a potato. So these are gonna be a no from me. Okay. 
And then this is the same one as the other black one that's actually a sweater and not a sweater dress. Um, but in like a tan color. I might actually keep this because it was really soft. It was very, very soft and thick. So if you're in like the cold, colder area, I think this would be good. I mean, what do I know? I don't, I don't know anything. I mean, like you could tuck it into pants or a skirt and make it like a regular sweater. Or you could make it a dress. Love that. Versatility. I cannot get over how comfy this is. I wish I had this in a crew neck. So I could just wear it around the house. It's so soft and cozy. I think this would look even cuter, like tucked in on one side with jeans. I'll just put on my pants that I was wearing today <laughs> for work. I love it. I feel like it looks so chic. Okay. If you like the, the oversized turtleneck, I say you get these. They're really cute. <laughs> After returning the dresses a thousand percent, do not recommend well unless unless you want them i feel like if you were i feel like if you were not as like don't have as wide of hips and you're like more of a um, like thinner frame i think that the, the dresses could actually work but i think if you have like hips it's just gonna protrude those pockets out okay gym time i don't want to do this like late it's like 7 20 already I just got back from the gym and I did 12 3 12 3 30 well 12 3 25 and then five minutes on eight incline because that's hard <laughs> and then I like destroyed my shoulders my shoulders hurt but I just realized that the belts did come in the package. But these look super cheapy, so they're probably getting returned. I need like a good belt, but I don't want a name brand on it. Like I don't want those Gucci belts. If I see one more Gucci belt, I'm gonna lose my mind. They're hideous. Hideous. And then I had like this belt from Nordstrom, just like plain black. It lasted me like three years, but now it's starting to wear. Oh, these are so cheap. Awful quality. No, these are getting returned. I just need like a skinny, simple black belt. I also ordered this like thicker one that was more like classic. And it looked better quality. The reviews were really good on that one. So, but that's not coming in for like another couple weeks. It was like not Amazon Prime. It was just like regular. Amazon, I don't know. These are shite. These are horrible. They literally feel like plastic. Okay, so it's almost nine o'clock. It's eight, 8.51. It's almost nine o'clock already. I doubt I'm gonna wake up early in the morning to work out, which is annoying. I still haven't, like, I don't have any food prepped for lunch and I'm probably gonna have to eat out for dinner tomorrow because I'm literally gonna be out all day. I don't have to go to work tomorrow, but I don't know, I just feel kind of guilty because I hardly went this past month. I think I only went once or twice this past month in person. <laughs> and um, I mean, nobody was in the office, so like, why would I go? But at the same time, like, who cares? You know, like, why do I care? I, whatever. So I should probably prep food. I think I'm just gonna chop up sweet potatoes and brussels sprouts pop that in the oven and then shower while that's baking and then cook the ground turkey that i have that i have to cook today day two in the week and i'm already over it <laughs> um yeah today's my long day work and then class six to nine um so that's gonna stink I woke up late again. <laughs> I'm just going to bed so late. I went to bed like at 11.30 or later last night and I couldn't wake up. I just couldn't do it. So it's 7.20 now. I left my house like five minutes ago. So I have a long drive ahead. Um, I need like a new YouTuber or like true crime podcaster to watch. 
I don't know. No one's uploading and I'm bored. I'm so annoyed right now. It's after work. Um, it's 4.47. I get, I'm leaving work and I'm on my way to class because class is at 6. And I get an email from my professor. Well, I got an email this morning that the classroom was changed from this class to this class, whatever. Awesome. Same building, same floor, not a big deal. I get another neat email, not even 10 minutes ago. It's 4.48 and class is at 6.05 saying hey class from the other from the professor the other one was from like the TA the professor saying oh hey we're class is gonna be in this room see you tomorrow I'm like tomorrow I just checked on Sunday that when my class was gonna be and it said Tuesday and then I go check again and it changed to Wednesday like I'm so annoyed. I had so much to do tomorrow before packing and I have to freaking leave. Uh, my flight is at 6.15 in the morning on Thursday. I was gonna self tan, I was gonna pack. Well, now I could pack today, but like, I'm just so annoyed that threw my whole like schedule off. All right, it's 6.44 and I'm just getting home. Can you even see that? I'm exhausted. Um, I hate going into the office because of this. Like, I, I just don't understand why my day has to be a 12 hour long day. But whatever, I stopped by Nordstrom on my way home. I was only in there for like 10 minutes, if that. The house is a freaking mess behind me. And I had a bunch of packages. I have the little, little packages that I'm piling up in that corner because I want to do a haul so that is just being accumulated over there until I have time to do that this is just a new phone case because my phone case is disgusting it's was supposed to be clear it's like brown so I just got like a plain like off-white case I was debating between this color and like a chocolate brown I ended up going with this color but I might also get the chocolate brown. This was like super cheap. I don't know, not even $15, I don't think. Maybe $15. Like a, it looks gray on camera, but it's really not. Let me put on some lights in here. And I really don't want to work out. I have, but I have no dinner prepped. And it, well I do, but if I eat it, then I have no lunch tomorrow. So it's like, what do I do? <laughs> and yeah. So I, it's, either, it's either like I cook and I stay home from the gym or I go to the gym and I eat out. And honestly, I'm just stressed. I hate it. I like it. Okay, I got that. This, something from David. Probably a t-shirt. And then from Nordstrom, I got, so I was like looking on Skims the other day for Spanx under my dress and it wouldn't come in time. So I went to Nordstrom, they had nothing in my size at all for Skims and they barely had anything there at all. I don't think they had any um, shapewear at all. But I got the actual brand Spanx and mine has like a high slit so I, I couldn't do the shorts. Like I have short Spanx, but I needed one like this. So, I'll give updates on that. It was only 25 bucks, whatever. And then I got, which I'm so excited about, um, I got Doc Martens. I got the platform Pisa, Pisa leather. I don't know how to say it. It's like the, like the worn, like soft, like it's softer. Oh, and then I have this box right here, which I have no idea what's in that. I'm just a hot mess right now. Oh, Revolve, what a pleasant surprise. For a second, I was like, what did I get from Revolve? And then I remembered. Weekender bag. And the packing too, wow. I highly recommend buying it off Revolve if you only want like one thing and you don't want to pay the shipping off of Bays because this came, it told me that it wasn't even gonna ship until like the 14th of January. And it's the 10th, I think. Yeah, it's the 10th. 
free shipping. Okay, this is perfect. This is what I'm wearing to the airport on Thursday. I'm so happy right now. Yes. And then the packing cubes. But this house is a mess. There's just stuff everywhere. And it's all my fault. It's all my stuff. I just have a problem. A shopping problem. Anyways, these are the Doc Martens I got. The platform. I love them. So. We got Chipotle. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I'm on my way to work. It's, what time is it? 7.18. Um, I've left later than I would like every single day this week. I guess today is my freaking long day, which I was not mentally prepared for. I got some packing done, but I think I mentioned this already. I have no method. I have no method when I pack. Like, I just throw things into a bag and hope that when I get to my destination, the outfits will work out for itself. Um, so, we'll see. And I don't know, like, how to pack for that weather. I'm not, like, familiar with what 40 degrees feels like, like, during the day versus at night. I mean, I'm pretty sure it feels colder at night. So, like, is just, like, a thick sweater enough? Do I? I don't know. I have no idea. And so, yeah. I've just packed like those two basic turtlenecks, a few pairs of jeans, um, like a basic black tight long sleeve with like some shocket and a puffer vest and I'll just like mix and match. The only outfit I need for is really is Friday and Saturday because I'm leaving Saturday night. And then Friday, I'm waking up super early. We have to be at my cousin's hotel room. She's staying in the same hotel as me, so it's not a big deal, but we have to be in her hotel room by 8 a.m. to start getting ready. And we're getting her hair and makeup done. So we're getting, she's giving us all hoodies. So I'm either gonna wear like sweatpants or leggings that day with just the hoodies until I wear the dress. And then also, oh, also we're going to a bar after if we make it, <laughs> um, that's like two blocks away. So, I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna bring extra change of clothes for that, or at least I'm gonna need like a, ja a jacket over my dress, which will look hilarious, but I don't really care. I'll probably be not very sober at that time, so I probably won't even care. But yeah, so I honestly don't need that many outfits, just two. I can make that work with whatever I packed, and then I'll do the rest today. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Let me get, let me listen to a podcast and focus on driving so I don't crash because I'm a horrible driver. <laughs> All right, I'm at school. It's 5.39 p.m. I don't have to, class isn't start until 6.05. So I just got food, dinner, because I, class is not supposed to end until nine. So, got a shawarma from a place called Osmos. I don't know, but I've never seen this building so packed. Um, I haven't been back here since I graduated to this building. This is the engineering campus. And my other classes were on main campus. And I didn't realize like how much <laughs> I, I hated this building and like how miserable I was while finishing up my degree. This 
it was like a temporary building for the university for their engineering campus they're building like their main one that the, the the one that's gonna that they've been they're building the one that they've been planning on campus like the super nice high tech all this money going into it um building but this one was always going to be temporary it used to be a corporation um some company there i used to remember but i forgot it's like a really a pretty well-known company but that they never even bothered to try to like make it somewhat enjoyable for the students like the walls are just like yellow there's like no decor there's no it like it felt like a freaking jail there's no food they have like a cafeteria but like most of the time there wasn't even any food or anything um no coffee after um after 12 o'clock like noon no more coffee for the rest of the day they the people that work there move go to main campus and finish the day there but right, it was just miserable it was horrible i had class 7 a.m and on those same days i had class at 7 at 6 25 p.m until 7 40 p.m and that was just horrible 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 and i'm just gonna end the vlog here because after class i'm just gonna be thinking about the million and one things that i have to do tonight so ugh, my freaking heavy ass bag with two laptops an ipad a kindle all of the above chargers in it um so yeah i will see you in the next one